Hey, what is going on guys? Slick Joe here. Hoping you guys are having a fantastic day. And welcome back to another Zombies in Spaceland video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the best setup to go into the boss fight with so that you can beat it in the most easiest and efficient way possible. But before we get started, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it a whole damn lot. Let's see if we can hit 15 likes on this video. You guys have been killing it with the likes lately, so I know you can do it. So smash that like button and let's see if we can hit 15 likes. But with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. So the first thing that we're going to talk about in the best setup for the boss fight is the Fate and Fortune cards. These are super important and there is one in particular that is the most important and that is Perk Insured. This card lets you keep your perks if you get downed and it is more than likely that you will get downed in the boss fight because it is easy to get trapped or get downed in a very stupid way. So it will be nice if you can keep your perks which is why you want Perk Insured on. So once you have selected Perk Insured then you can move on to the next thing which are the perks for the boss fight. Uh, obviously you're going to want get up in atoms especially if you're on solo and like I said since it's easy to get downed especially on co-op you're going to get downed a lot more than likely so you'll probably run out of afterlife arcade life tokens so it's good to have get up and atoms so you can revive your buddy as quick as possible. Uh, the second perk you're definitely going to want is tough enough obviously it's juggernaut it's tough enough it's the same damn thing but you're definitely going to fucking want it because that's just what you want it's you always have that in zombies there's no question about that. Uh, the next perk we're going to talk about is racing stripes now this one is pretty important because you're going to be moving a whole lot during the boss fight and it'll be nice if you could run a little faster and keep away from the zombies so you're going to want to make sure you have racing stripes on so you can do that and this will also help you to keep away from bad situations if you're on red screen or whatever you can really get out of there quickly so you're definitely going to want to have racing stripes on uh, the next one is bang bangs or double tap uh, you're going to want this because you have to put a lot of shots into the boss in order to kill him so if you have this on it will go a little quicker and help you out a whole lot so this is another perk you're definitely going to want to have on for the boss fight. Now for the last perk, it is pretty much up to you. You can either have quickies or mule munchies is probably the best two to choose from. Quickies is the same as speed colo or sleight of hand, so you reload, switch weapons, all that stuff faster. And that is pretty nice because you do do a lot of reloading during the boss fight. Or if you're on solo, you might want to consider having mule munchies. That way you have that third gun in case you run out of ammo in your other two guns. But it is pretty much up to you. I like to go with quickies instead of mule munchies, but like I said, it's just a personal preference. That will lead us into our next thing we're going to talk about, which is the guns. What guns do you want for the boss fight? And that is easy. Your first two guns, you definitely want to be the Wonder Weapon pistols. Uh, the two I like the most are the Shredder in order to take out the boss, and then the Discord to kill any zombies or regenerate your fate and fortune bar if you need to. If you decided to choose Mule Munchies as your fifth perk, another good gun is the papped oni which is that starting machine gun pistol in the cosmic way area uh, it's good to have that one because you can buy ammo right then and there and it's good to charge up your fate and fortune bar again and if you run out of ammo you can kind of fall back on that in order to kill a zombie off to see if you can get a max or charge your fate and fortune bar up like i said to see if you can get your max ammo card if you have that on but yeah those are the guns you're definitely going to want the head cutter and the Face Melter are not bad, but I just prefer these ones better. The Shredder's great for taking out the boss, like I said, and the Discord's good for killing large groups of zombies. So those are the ones that I always go with. Uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is the Special Grenades. Uh, there's pretty much two you want to choose between, either the Black Hole or the Repulsion Grenades. The Black Hole Grenade, obviously, is the one where it shoots out a black hole. And that is good to occupy the zombies when you're trying to hit the fuse on the aliens back after you have gotten him down and that's the same for the repulsion grenades but there are four of those you get and what those are is ones where you kind of shoot your hands out and blast all the zombies back that's also good for hitting the fuse on the back of the alien or if you kind of get trapped in a corner or something like that you can blast your way out with that and it's really helpful i usually go with the repulsion but again it's up to you both of those are very good for regular grenades it's really no question you just want the gas grenade because that is good you can kind of wall off all of the zombies to help you hit the fuse on the back of the aliens back again or you can just throw them down right below your feet and it will kill all the zombies around you so that is a good one to kind of kind of wall off and protect yourself from the zombies if you need a little bit of space or like i said you need to hit the fuse on the aliens back or something like that so that is a really good one too as for the portable traps there's only one for this either you just want the boom box again these grenades and the traps are pretty much there so you can either get yourself out of a bad situation or for distracting zombies so that you can hit the fuse on the aliens back easily and without getting downed that's the same with the boom box you can drop that it will occupy all of the zombies and you can easily hit the fuse on the aliens back in order to keep on 
playing through the boss fight and eventually killing him. But yeah guys, that pretty much does it for the setup guide for the boss fight on Zombies in Spaceland. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I went over everything you should need to fully be prepared for the boss fight and beat it in the most efficient way and be the most prepared you can for it, like I said. But yeah guys, that's pretty much going to do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and found this video helpful. If you have questions about anything else in Zombies in Spaceland, be sure to check down in the description. I have a playlist with tons of videos. Tons of guides on how to build the wonder weapon, turn on the power, pack a punch, all that storage stuff. So if you have any more questions, be sure to check that playlist link down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I better be seeing you in the next video. Catch you later.